What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this episode, we're gonna be going over how to comment your code in PHP. And we're also gonna talk about why it's important to comment your code. All right, so if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification icon so whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. And as always, code snippets can be found on my website, picksomweb.com forward slash PHP followed by the tutorial that we're going over. In this case, commenting your code. All right, so a comment in PHP is either gonna be a single line or a group of lines that aren't gonna be executed by the PHP parser. This is ideal so that way you can either leave some documentation about what your code is supposed to do, or if you wanna debug or test some features within your code, you can comment out blocks of code to see what happens. Adding comments to your code is also gonna be important because if you're working either in a team or handing over your project to somebody else, it's always good to leave comments about what your code is doing. You'd be surprised at how when you look at your code either six months or a year from now, if you don't have comments, it might be difficult to follow the logic of what you are trying to accomplish six months earlier or a year earlier. So comments are very important. And there's basically three ways you can comment your code and I'll show you how to do that in this video. All right, so what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go over here on my website. I'm gonna copy this code snippet and then I'm gonna go to my editor and then I'll create a new file and I'll call it comments.php. I'll close the sidebar here and then I'll just paste in that code snippet. All right, so I'm saving this here. Now, what I wanna show you is what happens right here. Cause you notice on line seven, we have the double forward slash right next to each other. This is a single line comment. Then on line nine, we have another single line comment represented by the pound sign or the hash sign. And then on line 11, we have another comment that's a multi-line comment over here. We have the forward slash with the asterisk, and then we have a couple of lines here, and then we have the asterisk and the Forward slash. You can actually leave out these middle asterisks over here, but they make it easy to line up your comments within your code. You'll also sometimes see, especially if you're using PHP Documenter, the double asterisks on the first part. Let's open up our terminal and let's type out PHP comments and I'll just use tab completion. Then I'll hit enter and you'll notice that what's sent out to the terminal is our doc type HTML from line one, the HTML tag from line two, the body tag from line three. But you'll notice that none of the comments here was outputted to the terminal. Instead, we skip all of that and we go to the closing body tag and the closing HTML tag. All right, so let's see how that looks in the browser. Let's type out PHP dash S space localhost colon 8080 forward slash comments dot php. Now what we're doing here is we're starting up a built-in web server from php itself. This way we don't have to start up XAMPP or MAMP. We could just use the built-in server. I'll hit enter and now we can follow this link by clicking control click. It'll take you to the browser and here we don't see anything being outputted. If we inspect elements what happened? We see we have our doc type, our HTML tag, the head tags. We have the body tag and the closing HTML tag there. And nothing was outputted here. So that shows you that PHP is not rendering the comment blocks. All right, let's go back to our editor. We can actually control C out of that now. Now when it comes to commenting your code, what will you normally see? You will normally see the double forward slash in this manner. You won't often see the pound sign or the hashtag sign over here used, but you might see it. And you're often gonna see this type of comment block over here when using multiple lines. You'll see this above functions. You'll see it typically at the top of a page that might give some information about what the code within that file is supposed to be doing, things of that nature. But you'll also, let's say you want to create like a variable and this is going to be so basic, but hello. You can have your double forward slash comment there. And you can say this is a variable with a string of hello. Now, again, this is so basic, it's self-explanatory because that's what we did here. But if you want to leave a quick comment to yourself or to another developer, you can do it in this manner. So then we can go to another line and just say echo var. And then you can leave another comment to yourself. We are now using echo 
to output var. Okay, so if we go down here to the terminal, hit the up arrow two times so we can get to PHP comments.php. Now you see we have outputted here the string hello, but the comments are not being outputted. Now can we replace this one with the pound sign? Let's see. It looks to work based on our editor. Let's go down here, hit the up arrow, and the same thing, same results. Now let's say we take this over here. I'm just gonna cut this for a moment paste it up there. Sometimes you're going to see common blocks put right above a code snippet in this manner. That's something you might see. Now let us comment this out. You see by putting the two forward slashes there in front of var and then hello, it treats it like a single line comment. So that part of the code is not working or it's not going to be processed. Now we can say var is assigned a value of hi. Okay, so now if we go down to our terminal and hit the up arrow, we see that we return high over here. Now we could also cut this out, paste that here, save it, and I'm just showing you some stuff here, so don't mind it. Right now we're going to be using variable replacement. If I hit the up arrow here, now it prints hello, or it outputs hello. Even though we have it saying hi over here on line 17 with var, we are redefining what the value of var is on line 18. But again, if we comment this line of code out, go down here, again it goes back to hi. All right, so let's try something else over here. What if you wanted to say echo 10 minus, put a space there, 6 plus eight. Let's save that. Let's actually go over here, comment that out. Let's see what happens here. It's going to follow the typical PEMDAS or order of operations of our mathematical equation over here. Press the up arrow. We see we have 12, right? So it's 10 minus six, which would be four. And then four plus eight gives us 12. But now let's say we're going to go over here and just comment this out. We could say forward slash asterisk go over here and then asterisk forward slash. Save that, go down here, press the up arrow, and now we see we have the value of two being represented here, which is the result of 10 minus eight. What happens if, let me just copy this real quick, go over here, let's take that out, put in a forward slash here, save it. What happens now? Go down here, hit the up arrow, we have a parse error because that statement was not completed. So there's a syntax error there. All right, because what's happening here is we're doing 10 minus what? What are we taking away from 10? So that wouldn't work. Also, what wouldn't work, let me go over here, comment that out, save it. Notice if we go here, we're back to normal. What wouldn't work is doing something like forward slash asterisk, and then this is a comment and then let's say we wanted to nest the comment block block with a nested comment go over here and put forward slash and then over here so normally you wouldn't have any nesting in this manner so like if you wanted to like go over here because let's say you're saying this is a common block with a nested comment and we want to signify that this is how you end this common block and then you end the common block here. Notice we have an error. Save that. We have that syntax error here. And that's because the PHP parser does not allow you to nest comment blocks in this manner. Now you won't typically make a mistake like this, but it might happen if you're trying to be verbose within your documentation of your code. And if you want to like leave extra comments that seem to be nested within themselves. Because what's happening here is the PHP parser identifies this right here first and then end the common block here. So this wouldn't work. So you would take this part out right here, save it, and now you're fine. 
All right, so this was a brief introduction into commenting your code within PHP. There are three ways to add comments to your PHP code with a double forward slash or using the pound sign, both of which will give you a single line comment. Or you could use a multi-line comment block with the forward slash asterisk, then your multi-line comment, followed by the asterisk and comment. And then we also spoke about why it's important to comment out your code. So that way you can leave hints to what your code is supposed to be doing. I Either for yourself or for anybody else working with your code or for testing out what happens if you remove a certain block of code from your web application or website. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding. Mm -hmm.